We use this shampoo. Um, this is the Life Abundance Kiwi Mango shampoo. It's just revitalizing shampoo. I don't know where the fitting is. It's just plain. And then this is the conditioner that I use for her. It's the Body Shop, what is this called? Body Shop Banana Hair Mask. So that's what we use. The other thing, before she has a bath, I always like rebrush her hair out. She just got her hair brushed like, I don't know, it's like two o'clock. She just got her hair brushed like maybe, I don't know, like at 11 this morning. So it really doesn't need to be rebrushed, but just for, you know, just for the sake of it, I will rebrush her hair really quick. Cause I have to take her bands out anyway. So those of you who wonder how Fairy's hair is so big, <laughs> this is her hair whenever it's completely down. And um, this is why it's not down. This is why I always pull it up because look how much hair this girl has. It's like, I mean, she's like a Q-tip. So what I do for this part because it's so loud, I use earplugs and then I put um, her happy hoodie on her and just that way it's not as loud for, you know, the time that she doesn't have to have it on her ears because there's kind of no reason, you know, there's no reason for either of us to endure that. But then whenever I have to take this off of her, I take my earplugs out because it's kind of a bunch of crap not to, so. She doesn't like this part as much, of course, because there's wind blowing her hair. On her hair part that I actually dry, like you see I have, hold on, let me flip the camera. So this is the only part that I dry without the happy hoodie on. So you see I have the back part of her hair actually dry, which is kind of like a weird way to do it, and I have the lower part of her ears dried. So literally the only part that is not dry is just her actual like ear, this part, um, which we don't dry this with a hair dryer at all. Um, I kind of go, you know, you'll see, but I, I don't obviously dry in there. That would be very painful for her. And then the top of her ear is not dry and obviously her face isn't dry, which is fine. So what I do on this part is I, there's a lot of coddling that happens on this. She doesn't like it. It's loud and there's wind in her face. Your person, you know, it doesn't feel good to have like wind on your face like that if you're, if you don't want to basically, it's kind of forced because you know she's a baby and she doesn't choose this um so on this part a lot of times i'll put her head on my shoulder if she wants to like i did on that very end part for the back of her hair so now we have this so whenever I dry her ears, which you can't even see her face right now, but whenever I dry her ears, what I do is I actually grab her whole entire ear. This sounds bad, but I promise it's not bad. Okay, this is her ear over here. So what I do, you see I don't dry a lot of it. This can go back some more. Yeah, there we go. You see I don't dry a lot of it. Um, I get the majority of the water off of it, but what I do is I actually grab her ear, like the whole thing, and I put my palm over her ear, the whole part. And then I like, this sounds like it's rough. I'm not being rough, but all I do is I kind of like make it so that it makes like a cup over it. And then I dry this part and I don't dry it all the way. Like you see, it's, it's mostly dry, but it's not all the way dry. And then I pull her hair up so it can dry the rest of the way. But it's just not, um, you know, it's not good to blow wind in their ear, obviously, but it's also not good to let it stay damp. So you have a fine line there. Let me see 
to you. You look good, huh? I should have rebrushed her tail after I, I halfway brushed it whenever I was drying her and then I re-dried it the rest of the way. And I didn't ever do it, but her hair. See, I'm clean. You're so clean. So whenever I was grooming Farabee um, in the hair drying portion, so I put the, the heater on and then I always turn the velocity part up, like not all the way up, but like probably a little over halfway to dry her body. And then for her head, I turn it back down to like as low as it'll go, which is still really fast. What do you have? A leaf. She keeps bringing me leaves and then she gets them stuck in her mouth. So I have to recover them like this. Thank you. Right, bye leaf. She brings them to me though. So I thought she was trying to eat them at first. Anyway, she's not. So yeah, but what I do um, is I go over her whole entire body, like I said, with it on the high velocity. And then after she's dry, but before I like get done basically, I actually get low. Like I go over her slowly with it. And then I go over like and look, like I get low and look under her. Whenever you're using a high velocity dryer, it actually like separates their hair all the way to the scalp. She found another leaf. Okay, bring it to mama. Let me see. Oh, thank you. Good girl. Okay, let's not chew it. All right, give me it. Okay, thanks. Oh wow, that one's nice. I brought me another leaf and she's about to spill my coffee. Good girl. So whenever you do the high velocity dryer, it actually will separate their hair all the way to the scalp. Um, and so whenever it does that, you can really get a good look at their skin and just make sure there isn't anything. So I try to go over and look, you know, I mean, I'm sure there's a piece of skin I haven't seen in a while. Um, but I try to like look as thoroughly as I can just to make sure there's no like discoloration, no like moles or anything growing, no anything that would be, you know, cause for concern. Obviously I brush her every day, but you can't see their skin whenever you do that. So it's just important to actually look. The other thing, whenever you're drying them, if you have a long haired dog and you're drying them, if you hold your hair dryer out the length of their hair away from them. So like her, you know, whatever, whatever that length is away, the hair will not wrap itself around as bad. It won't wrap itself around itself if that makes sense so it won't have as many tangles like that um not to say that you're not gonna have some tangles because you are of course that is basically all i had to say that was extra so yeah that's what we did but she smells nice and clean now and she looks all fluffy a fluffy little baby mm -hmm.